Sometimes it's the simplest new features that are the real time savers. And in the case of FileMaker 13, one of the new features that definitely fits the bill is the extended Layout Mode Undo feature. In previous versions of FileMaker, Undo worked just fine in Layout Mode, up to a point. For example, in version 12, you can undo back to the last time the layout was saved, but no further. Bear in mind that layout changes can be saved explicitly by choosing the Layouts Save Layout menu command or the corresponding keyboard shortcut, or implicitly by navigating to a different mode with the Save Automatically feature selected in FileMaker Preferences. The trouble with that is, in order to see whether the changes you've made in layout mode look OK in other modes, you have to leave layout mode and go to, say, browse mode. Doing so requires implicitly or explicitly saving the layout mode changes. So if you don't like what you see when you view the changes in another mode, in FileMaker 12 and earlier, undo is no longer available. But all that changes in FileMaker 13, with layout mode undo persisting beyond layout saves. In fact, the history of changes that supports undo is preserved until you close the window or navigate to a different layout. That means you can save layout changes, review them in other modes, and then if you aren't satisfied, you can go back to layout mode and undo the changes at will. To show you what I mean, I'm going to mess up a few things here and then backtrack to reverse my way to safety. Let's give the My First field a garish colour. And we'll place a few objects that we don't really think we will want to keep on the layout for good measure. OK, that's enough of a mess. Now I'll go back to browse mode and see what I've done. No, I definitely don't like that. So I can now go back into layout mode and use the undo command. One step at a time, I can walk back through the changes that I made to restore the layout to its original form. Now I can save these changes, again explicitly or simply by going to browse mode, and I'm back where I started. It's a great feature, but there are a couple of things to be aware of. If you save the layout and it's subsequently changed by another user in multi-user mode, or in another window on the same computer, or if the theme the layout is based on has been modified, then the history of changes that Undo is based on will have been purged and changes made prior to the last layout save will no longer be available to be undone. However, if, as is commonly the case, you're programming on one layout in one window and you're the only one working on the layout at the time, FileMaker 13 now gives you a greatly extended safety net. 